Hey guys, French Friend 2448. Okay, so just gonna show you guys the setup. I have installed the Sidewinder 3 into the Chevy um, 4600 kV motor with the well, I have run 7.4s there, but I just got the Venom 7500 30C 3 cell lipo, which is huge um, compared to the 7.4 here. It's like two 7.4s. Um, so I am running that. It's a little bit dark outside, but you guys might be able to see. I'm just going to do a test video. Um, 13 tooth pinion with the stock 87 tooth spur gear. So, and I have my chains on. This chain needs to be rebuilt too. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'll meet you guys outside. Okay, guys, it's a little bit dark. It is very cold. Um, uh, I'm going to try making it so you guys can see better, but there's not much we can do. I think it's stuck. Ooh, it's cold. Oh, there goes the rear drive shaft. You guys look closely. See, just the front wheel. So I'm stuck. I'll keep on going. It's fine. Holy crap. Pretty intense. Yo, what's this? Okay, let's go back inside. Warm up. Fix that rear drive shaft. Oh. I have a perfectly good work bench there. Just, I like to use them. Okay, sorry if you hear the furnace. But uh, we'll have to deal with it. Oh, I'm cold. Talk about furnace. Oh. Okay. 
on here. Okay, it's not focusing. Whatever. Um, I love these from Proline. The pull, Pro Poles. They're pretty awesome. Especially in the winter because metal gets colder than plastic. So, okay. So, okay, I have that plate that's in the way, but that's fine. I guess I can just unscrew the plate. Just a little bit. Push that off to the side. Oh! Came out from underneath. Huh. I haven't had that in a while. I'm going to put more Loctite on there. Oh, I might be out of blue Loctite, actually. So, so the screw just came loose. Um, it's the bottom one, which is the first. Go, blue Loctite. Not much of a label on it, but it's just blue Loctite. Not much to it. Just a little bit. There we go. Well, since I'm here, I might as well check the other ones. I don't know if you guys notice this on your rigs, if you have one, that the bearings on the axles right here pop out every once in a while. So you got to watch that sometime. And I'll take them up on the here. Okay, there we go. Oh, stick the plate back on. This is just scrap metal I have lying around. It's like really thin aluminum. Um, and it's held down by two screws with a washer behind them. Oh, there we go. There, she's good to go again. But that's it for today. Just the test run of the brushless motor. I'm going to go play around a bit more, maybe. It is very cold. Get some better gloves. I've got big gloves. It's just they don't fit the trigger in the trigger. So, kind of sucks. Um, yeah. Got to fix my winch sometime. Going to try getting some fishing line. Right now, I have snare wire in there. Works not bad. Works for me. It's not a hard fix either. But yeah, talk to you guys later. Make sure to subscribe, like, do whatever you want to do. Um, and have a good day.